In this video, we will be looking at this amazing project called Gorilla, a large language model connected with massive APIS. In summary, it's a language model that is trained on AP calls rather than language, and therefore they're calling it an AP app store for LMs. On making correct AP calls, it's able to be G 4 by 20 which is massive. First, let's talk about why this paper is even important. Language models by themselves do not have the ability to interact with the physical world. They need external tools. So, for example, ChartJump has access to plugins, which are essentially just making AP calls to external tools. If you are familiar with LangChain, it also has a concept of agents, where agents are able to use tools to interact with the external world. And these tools are accessed through the AP calls. However, if you notice, the number of tools inside LangChain is very limited. That's where this paper comes in. Using their approach, a platform like LangChain will have access to an order of magnitude more AB or tools than it previously had. For the rest of the video, we will quickly go over the paper. Then we will check out the GitHub page and also show you how it works. Now, the great thing is that some of the models they present are completely open source and you can use them for commercial purposes. First, let's look at an example use case where this could be helpful. So, for example, you can simply provide a prompt to the model saying that help me find an API to convert spoken language in a recorded audio to text using TorchUp. Now, there are a few steps that the model has to take. First, it needs to understand the natural language that you are using in order to deduce which AP to use. From all available APIs, it has to pick an AP which can perform the operation that you are requesting. Next, the model has to accurately figure out what are the inputs to this API call. And this is when it becomes very tricky, because in a lot of cases you have very similar APIs with different inputs. And this is where most of the current ELMs fail. Just to summarize the whole process, they have fine-tuned a LAMA 7 billion parameter model. And now they are calling it a Gorilla 7 billion parameter model. The model is fine, tuned specifically on making AP calls. For that, they curated a new data set, which contains around 1,600 API calls from three different platforms. Now, there is a filtering process of how they selected these different APIs. They looked at the model card and had complete information. Then, for each of these AP calls, they created instruction AP pairs. Basically, Gorilla is an instruct fine-tuned model using the instruction and the corresponding AP pairs. Now, interestingly, this data set was generated using GP4. For the rest of the process, they use information retriever system. So it's very similar to retrieval of information from your PDF files. Watch this video if you want to learn about that. So what you do is, when the user provides an input query, it simply looks at all the APIs and then picks the one that is closest to the user query. In this case, they tried different retrievers, including one based on GP4. Now you get the AP and then the Gorilla model based on its knowledge creates inputs for that API call. So in summary, that's how the whole thing works. Now, based on the results, they are showing that this approach can give you better results than GP4. So it's around 20 better than GP4. And surprisingly, it's 10 better than Chat. So it seems like Chat is much better at making these API calls compared to GP4. Now, that's a quick summary of how these things work. Let's look at a working demo. First, let's quickly look at the GitHub repo. So there's a Google Colab demo that we're going to be looking at in a bit. You can also run this locating and they're providing five different models. So the first one is Gorilla 7 Hugging Face V0, which lets you interface with Hugging Face AP. Then there are a couple of other models, which is this TEF and V, and they are specifically for TensorFlow and Torch, respectively. Now, these three models are based on Llama, so you can't really use them for commercial purposes. However, they are also releasing these two other models. One is MT-based, and the other one is Falcon-based. Both of them are Apache 
2.0 license. And that's why you can use them commercially. In terms of the fakes, so we talked about it. You can use these models commercially, and you will also be able to actually interface this with LangChain. So, as I showed you in the beginning of the video, there is this concept of agents. So you can simply take Gorilla Model and use it with the agents to perform different operations. For the sake of time, we're not going to be covering that in this video, but I will create another dedicated video for that. So let's see this in action. So first, you need to go and open the Google Colab. As always, my recommendation is to go to file and then save a copy in your Google Drive or your GitHub account. Next, we have the code to set it up. You will need to install OpenAI, but you don't really need the OpenAI, but you don't really need the OpenAI AP key, and that's why it's set to empty. Now, simply run this cell, and you are all set to go. Okay, so next we will look at how to use this. So you simply need to call this function called response, provide prompt, and then the model that you want to use. So for this specific example, they are using the hugging face model. And the prompt is, I would like to translate from English to Chinese. So let's run this. So here's what it came up with. So first it's showing you the app we call. So you are going to be using a transformer package and then a pipeline from transformer. And then there are some explanations. So hugging face transformers that the API provider an explanation it says import the necessary library, which is pipeline from transformers. Then use the pipeline function from transformer to create a translation model that can translate from English to Chinese. So it also specified the model to use, which is pretty nice. Next, it's saying that pass the English text from the created translator and it will return the translated Chinese text. So this is pretty awesome. It also gives us a code example. So basically, if you use this as a part of agents or tools in LangChain or any other package, you can automatically make these API calls using the code that they have provided. Now, the big question is going to be, does it actually work or not? So for that, let's copy this. So I already installed the transformer package because that is going to be required. Okay. So we got the translated text and here is the translated text and here is the translation. So are all the AP call is correct. The code is correct. Now we don't know whether the return translation is correct or not. So we can use Google translate for that, but this has nothing to do with the model itself. Okay. So according to Google translate, the translation is pretty close. I said, how was your day today? But it's saying, how was your day today? So that's pretty good. Here's another example. In this case, the prompt is, I want to build a robot that can detect objects in an image. This means we need an object detection model. So it figured out the domain. So computer vision object detection. Then it figured out the models to use. So this is the API call that we're going to be using. And then, which is the API provider. So hugging face transformers. And then it provides step-by-step -step implementation. I have noticed that in some cases it provides example code. So for example, here, this was the code, but in some other cases it doesn't do that. But keep in mind, it's the first iteration. And if you have a much bigger model, it will be more consistent. In the next two examples, we're going to be looking at PyTorch and TensorFlow specific models that they have trained. So the first one is I would like to translate from English to Chinese. And it did a pretty good job because it provided all the information as well as a code example. So here's the code example. In the second case, it also, I think, provided a code example. So this is what I was saying that in some cases it does provide code examples and in other cases it will simply ignore it. The last example is using the MT model, which is open source and commercially viable. So in this case, when I ran that translation prompt through it, it gives us this response. Please input the text you want to translate. And for some reason, it actually responds to itself. So 
Translate to Chinese. How old are you? Now, similar to the previous case, it came up with an implementation, and then it uses that phrase or sentence that it provided as an input to the model. So it's a decent model that works pretty good for the AP calls. Now, to summarize, this is a great project because it opens up so much different possibilities. Now, these elms will have access to so many different tools because it will be able to make these AP calls independently. The overall concept is very similar to agents, both in hugging face as well as a lang chain. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments section what you're going to be using this for. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like this video. We also have a growing Discord community, so come join us there if you want to talk about everything. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.